Hey everyone, I'm Sherry Criswell, independent designer for Chalk Couture. I'm going to try another live. I'm trying to look at my screen to see if it's on there. So according to my phone, I am live. Um, but I don't see anything on my computer screen. So we'll go ahead just like we're live. Anyway, this is the project I'm doing today. To begin with, I painted this uh, with this just acrylic paint. I have, what color is this? Pumpkin, appropriate, and whipped cream. And I just rolled it on, let it dry. I did wipe it off on the edges because I just want a more distressed look. Before I painted this, I uh, distressed it, whitewashed it, and used some darker stain, just swiped it on, and uh, put some wax on it, some Mim wax. Anyway, back to the design. Um, this, this is the one we're gonna do today, the witch is, and this is how you get them. On the back, they always have, of the transfers, they always have the directions on the care. It's important to get the right side of the backing to the um, transfer. So, let's open this up. This over here for now. Um, you can see this has cutting lines right here. So we'll go ahead and do that. I don't know if I'm live. I don't see anything on here. Oh well. That's just fun to do. Okay. Now, what you want to do is mark the back. Because like I said earlier, it's important that you get the right side to it. What it is, is um, the glossy side of the backing goes to the sticky side of the transfer. And I just write what it is on the back. Sometimes it's easier to find uh, the backing. this okay the next thing I want to show you is our paste I'm using um, black honeydew which is kind of a light um, lime green maybe purple now this is our older um, type of paste and they have redone it so this one I believe is called grape soda there are, the colors are a little bit different but they're they're close and of course white and I'm going to use bark and I have not used this one yet and this is how it comes it's sealed with a foil so you pull it off and this is how it comes of course you're going to have to mix it up a little bit and I don't want to throw anything out if I can get much as I can off of here before I throw it out. Then you just mix it up. And now this is called bark and I think this replaces our chocolate. However, I haven't used it yet so I'm not sure. It looks like it's a little redder than our chocolate was. Kind of a reddish brown. 
I was going to use mocha for the broom, but I was afraid it wouldn't show up that well on here. Oh, my hand's dirty already. Sorry, as soon as I uh, start a live, I forget something. Figures. Um, let me show you the mocha. Can you see that? I was just afraid that would not show up as well on the background. So we're going with the bark. Now the paste, you want it to be, um, the consistency of uh, yogurt, sour cream. If it's not, if it's too thick, just add a few squirts of water, just a few at a time. And then mix it up and you're ready to go. Okay, let's start with the witch's broom. And then we're gonna put this here. This is what I have planned to do. We'll do the witch, and then the witch is, and then I have this chip that we also have. I think there's 12 in a packet. I'm gonna put um, in on one side and out on the other, and put a cup hook so you can just attach it to here. So, let's start with the broom. Let's see what that bark looks like. Kind of anxious to see that. Now you don't have to fuzz anything because we're doing this on a very porous surface. Um, so you can just put it directly on here. I'm just eyeballing this. Smooth it out. You don't want any bubbles in this netting where you can see through to the orange. That's all silk screen netting and just kind of secure it around it so it doesn't bleed through. This is a very textured surface, so you know, you gotta allow for that. It's not gonna be maybe as clean as um, like on chalkboard. All right, let's see what this bark looks like. I'm just gonna dab a little bit on here And this is an angle squeegee. But I'm just starting to get the hang of. I'm using it on the wrong side because I like that. I prefer that one. On this side, you can see they have a lot of angles to it. I don't know if you can. Um, this is the side I like. So just take a swipe. Put it back in the jar, any excess. Make sure you got the whole transfer cover. I got a little spot there I missed. If I can get that. Now this is paste. Paste is more forgiving. It will um, wipe off. And I'm not known for staying in the line, so. Let's see what this bark did. It 
There you go. <laughs> that turned out cute. Okay, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put, I have a tub of some water and I'm going to soak it in there until I can clean it later. When you go to clean it, use water and try to get, like in your sink, or now I'm putting it in a tub of water, um, and then you take a Lysol or Clorox wipe and wipe both the front and the back, and then let it dry sticky side up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this chip so it has a little time to dry um, while we're doing the rest of it. My husband was kidding me, or I think he was. <laughs> he said, you don't have to put the out on there. Just just the in is good. So, I don't know what he meant by that. All right, let's do... This should go pretty quick. You just want to look to make sure there's no lines in the actual transfer part. There you go. Now, I do like crafting, and I try a lot of different crafts, um, but you actually don't have to be a crafter to be able to do this. It's pretty easy, and it's pretty much the way I'm showing you. Um, the uh, transfers they give make it very easy, and most of them are distressed, so uh, you don't have to you don't have to worry. It's very forgiving. Um, I suppose there is a little bit of a learning curve, but and not much, really. It's it's easy. Okay, the witch is, and again, I'm just eyeballing it. Of course, you can measure if that's your thing. That's fine. Uh, it's not mine, so I don't. <laughs> Sometimes I regret it. But, okay, again, I'm smoothing it out, getting all the bumps and the bubbles out of that and making sure um, that it adheres to it. And I'm going to do this in black. down strokes and then I'm going to go this way take off the excess put it in the jar make sure you have everything all right let's see how well we did The witch is. All right. Now, which is the name of this transfer? Um, Halloween. No, this. Where is that one? For sure, the witch is in witch broom. Then I've got.
got another one, which is Halloween Fun. It just has four cute um, Halloween, let's see, where is it open? Type transfers. We have Spooky, the Spider, Beware, and Boo, the Ghost. So I just thought I might put a few of those on there. And I was going to do those in um, uh, let's see. Let's do uh, I was going to use white and purple. Or no, purple and honeydew. So I don't know. I'm still not getting anything on my computer. So, um, I can't ask you all what color you think. So, I don't know what I did wrong. Anyway, um, I'm just going to try to decide what color I want. Maybe green. Maybe I'll do white with a ghost. And ghosts are always white. Let's make a purple. How about green? Hmm. Green, purple, and these two. Hmm, let's do this black. Black, white, green, purple. Decisions, decisions. Okay. All right. Let's put this one on. Let's see. I can scrape it off. Plenty. The paste does go a long way. Um, for the paste, it has a shelf life of about a year. Um, and once you open it, they say about six months. It does last a long time, but if it's a color that you use a lot, which, by the way, white is their most popular one, you can imagine on chalkboards. Makes sense. Okay, I think I got it all. <clears throat> and you want to pull it not from the diagonal because you'll stretch the transfer. One. Spooky. Okay. Now let's do the white ghost. But if you notice, I have tried to put dates on here. This purple was from February. So, March, April, May, June, July, August. Six months. And it's still really good. And the transfers um, are reusable many times. Of course, it depends on the surface that you're putting it on. Um, this is a very porous surface, so it, it is, and, you, and it's got uh, rough, like, wood. Um, so, on wood, probably not as many as if you did them all on chalkboard. But, um, you can get anywhere like from 8 to 12 and lots of times more than that. Like I said, it depends on the surface that you put it on. Okay, I got all the bubbles out of that. Let's get this ghost on here. Scrape.
scrape off the excess. And you can take uh, the squeegees and everything, put them in the water with the transfers, clean them later. I'm trying to remember everything, tips when I do this. And you see these little dots on here? That's in the transfer. It's supposed to be that way. Just dress. So, hopefully, that'll take a little of the stress off of you doing it. Now let's go for this purple spider. And this... From the paste that I have today um, is the oldest paste that I have, so let's see how it does. I already added a little bit of water to it. You kind of have to figure out the consistency that works best for you. Sometimes it depends on the technique you're doing um, and the surface you're putting it on. You don't want to get it too thin if you're doing anything on fabric. Of course, we would use our inks for that um, so you can heat set it. Now, chalk paste is semi-permanent. Um, it's actually meant for be able to take off. Of course, this is on wood, so it probably will not come off completely. But if you do it on chalkboards, it's so that you can take it off and replace it with a different design. But you can make it permanent. You'd have to get a polyurethane spray and put several coats on it. And I have done some pieces like that. But most, this is really sticking. Most of the stuff, um, see, that works good. And that's like six months old. So uh, there's a, life, a lot of life left on that paste. Hey. Okay, one more. And this one, hoping that shows up, but we'll find out. I'm sorry, I think I can't read the messages. If it worked on my screen, that would be great. I will try to address them though later, um, if I find them. <laughs> All right, here's the, the I don't know, pumpkin face. I don't know, I might have, maybe should have used a little bit darker color, but eh, we'll go with it. See what it does. Scrape off the excess. Okay, let's pull it off. I think it's too light, but because um, you can do anything and you can mix transfers with it 
it gets addictive. I love it. All right, now I have to go out and buy a cup hook. I don't have one. Um, but I'm going to put it right about here. I am going to put the out on here, though. Even though Terry says I don't need that. So. Just depending on my mood, that would be the thing to just check whether the witch is in or out as far as is this a good day <laughs> or not so good. Maybe I should leave this out year long. <laughs> nah, I'm not that bad. Oh, sorry, I did that off camera. All right, take it off, out, in. Okay, there we go. The witch is in. Can you see that? What do you think? Well, if you like it, um, if you want to check out my website, it's chalkcouture.com slash Sherry Criswell. Um, you can look around and shop, or even if you like to join and become a designer like me. That'd be great, too. Either way, um, whatever you would like. Also, I have a VIP group, Sherry Lynn's Exclusive VIP. And on there, it's a closed group, but it's completely free. And I just talk more about um, the business and what it is. And I also have some specials in there. So if you like to join that, um, just ask to join. And there's another route that you can go. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope I am live. Um, if I have any comments, I will try to address them later. Thanks, guys. Bye.